to my channel. I have a very special guest with me. Hi guys, I'm Tori. And I will have her Instagram right here and in the description box. Make sure to go follow her because she did a really, really awesome Valentine's inspired makeup look. So stay tuned to see how we got this look. All right guys, so the first thing I always like to do, my eyebrows first. Okay, so it's like an eyebrow powder by Anastasia in the colors chocolate. So first we're gonna brush out. So at the end of the eyebrow look, just to kind of give it a more finished look and to make sure all the hairs are in line and nothing's just kind of straggly or all over the place, I like to go in with a gel and I use Gimme Brow by Benefit, number three. Okay, so um, we're going to go in and just kind of reshape the brow just to make sure, you know, nothing's just out weird and out of funk. So to do that, we are taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color light. And we're just doing a, put a little bit on your hand, like so, you're just gonna put a little bit on your hand, and then you're gonna go in with like a concealer brush, so it's easier to just shape the eyebrow. And then with all the excess, you're just gonna put that on the lid as your primer for the eyeshadow. So now you have super defined eyebrows which is very important for it look like this. And then with the excess concealer on your hand, you're just gonna wipe that up with a beauty blender and then go ahead and put it on the eyelid as your primer. I think it works a lot better because it makes the colors more defined, a lot brighter than just a regular primer. And then we're going to go into it. And we're going to use this color, like this purpley color that you see, it's called Blonde Fresco. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, which is I think really important that a lot of people don't know, is that you're gonna go in with your transition color so it's easier to blend and it's kind of your base color for your look. Okay, so now that you have your transition color, as you can see, it's really light, which it's supposed to be, so it's easier to transition between different colors, but it's a nice soft base. The next color we are going to use, and it's called this dark color next to it called Antique Bronze. We're going to be using the MAC 224 fluffy brush. <laughs> okay, so then after that, which I think looks really nice blended together, kind of gives you like a purpley, whiny, um, mixed color, which I think is really pretty. The last uh, color we're gonna go into in the crease is also in the Modern Renaissance palette. And it is the this red color called Red Ocher. Brush is from Walgreens. <laughs> you can probably buy it at Ulta. I think it's an e.l.f. brush. Just gonna take this into the outer corner and into the crease. Just blend it all together. I'm gonna go back in with that purpley color and we're just gonna kinda blend it all together. Okay, now the next big thing that we wanna do is we wanna then add lots of color to the lid. So it's this like really nice sparkly neutral, not neutral, but it's like a white gold. Like a color. champagne. -y. Yeah, and we're gonna be taking this medium shadow flat headed brush. Pretty sure this is from Claire's. <laughs> so we're just gonna put this right on the lid into the inner corner. And that transition color. Woo. And so we just kind of transition and kind of blend everything nicely together. And we're going to be using uh, Tempra, which is this color, it's really, really light. And we're going to do this to the brow and then the inner corner. Just gonna take it right there. And then you can just like blend it with your finger because it's like easier because it's such a small area. I'm just gonna kind of pop that right in there on both sides. And this is in the color light. Cause I am <laughs> she light. Gonna... Oh yeah. Wow, this is some nice full coverage. You can tell <laughs> already. Oh, and kids, make sure you blend into your neck. Don't be that person that thinks it's okay to not blend into your neck. And don't be afraid to kind of go over the concealer that we did on the eyebrows, because you're supposed to. The uh, Tarte Shape Tape again, in case you forgot, in the color light, because I really feel like against this color, it's just gonna make her face bright. So we're just gonna kind of one and two. We're gonna hide some of the baggy lines. 
two, two, three, four, down the nose, there, one, trois, and trois. And we're ready to go. And, and now you're done. This is it, guys. This is the whole look. gonna bake her face. So we're going in with that same beauty blender because it works better. And we're just gonna take some up and we're just gonna go right under those eyes. I don't think I've really like baked my face before. Everything you put concealer on just bake. That's so the two eyeliners that I really like are the Super Slim by L'Oreal Paris. This is what it looks like. Ink liner in the color Trooper by the famous Kat Von D. <laughs> so we're just gonna go in with those two. Oh, a cute little wing. Oh, I'm using my new mascara I just bought, and it is the Define Lash Mascara by Maybelline. It's and it looks like this. All right, I'm gonna curl them using my handy dandy curler. Now ladies, just a piece of advice. Don't try to do your friend's mascara because you'll accidentally poke them in the eye. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna go in with that big fluffy Claire's brush and we're just gonna wipe away all the baking. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, see, it's been on for a while. So next okay. thing that we gotta do is we're going to contour her face using my personal favorite palette, the Contour Kit Light to Medium mm. by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you can see, there's a recurring theme, Anastasia Beverly Hills. These two colors, kind of mix them together a little bit and <laughs> contour her face. Okay, be a fishy, there you go. Oh, and this brush is from Sephora. It's like an angled brush. Yeah. Okay, now my favorite part. A lot of people would next go in and do the blush, but I do highlighter first, because I feel that if you do blush first, then the blush and the highlighter sometimes mix together weirdly. So we do that after. Okay, so this is the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. I don't know why it's eyeshadow. I use it as highlighter and it's by e.l.f. So it's this really pretty bronzy color. It's called Brushed Copper. So what you're gonna do, what I always do first, I always feel for the cheekbones, so where you wanna put it on her would be right there. You take some and then right where you felt, okay. Dab it on, and with your finger, just gonna blend it all together. Because it's easier with your finger than using um, a beauty blender. And this is also like a base for the rest of your highlighter, so now your, the rest of your highlighter is gonna be really extravagant and really awesome. Do a little bit on the nose. So weird feeling another person's nose. That's super highlighted, and then on top of the lips to give it some extra shimmer and shine. That's my favorite spot for highlighter. Mm -hmm. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go in with our highlighter brush. So it is the uh, Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. We're going to take Hourglass Ambient, which is a luminous light. So this is Hourglass. And that is what it looks like. So like it's super white light. So you take this, really just cover it, and then you just go in on her face, right over that spot, and it just makes her glowy. But wait, we're not done yet. So the last color we're gonna take for highlighter um, is Incandescent Light in the Hourglass Long ambient palette so it's going to be the middle one so it's like really light and pearly 
which I really like, so it gives another more of a glow. And then at the end, before you do your lip gloss lipstick, um, we are gonna go in with the Smashbox True Pink. Very, very little, so it's this middle color. And you're literally gonna take a flat eco brush, eco tool brush, dab it once, get off as much excess as humanly possible, and then just kinda dab in between. So in between where you contoured and in between where the highlighter is to kind of just give it a more finished look, to kind of give it a little bit of rosiness so it's not just highlighter, skin, brown. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to go in, lastly, with some lip gloss. So this is Festive, it's by Tarte. It's the lip paint, so it's their matte collection. See, ooh, pretty, so nice. Okay guys, so because it's Valentine's Day and we're feeling super special and super awesome, we are going to do what I like to do. It's called highlighting your lips. So you're gonna go back and with that last highlighter color, so that's incandescent light in the Hourglass Ambient Palette. I'll show you once again, it's this nice middle color. You're gonna take your middle finger, you're gonna rub it, so the color's on your finger. And you're literally just gonna tap it in the middle of your lip. So kinda, so it highlights your lips ever so slightly in the middle. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm so Thank glad you like so it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guys. I'm waiting for you. Yep. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>